the UAE government warns families and employers recruiting domestic workers from unauthorized recruitment agencies and web uh, social media pages remember when we are talking about recruitment uh, domestic worker recruitment in the UAE before it was the third bay agents that was in charge of recruiting or charge of authorizing the recruitment of domestic workers in the different or uh, domestic workers to work in the UAE however the government still wants that getting workers or domestic workers from unauthorized or unofficially granted permission to recruitment agencies to hire then it will ju uh, jeopardize what we call your parties of both sides what does the UAE say what does the government say it wants the families and employees against hiring domestic workers from unlicensed recruitment agencies or including what you call unreliable social media pages the warning comes after the ministry recently issued what you call a decree for, to allow the private sectors also to engage themselves in the recruiting of what you call domestic workers however it still stresses that in order to protect the two to protect the two parties that is the domestic workers and the employees these domestic workers or you the employer or you the family who is seeking to recruit a domestic worker you should look for those approved or you should look for those licensed you should look for only those licensed uh, recruitment agencies such that both sides both parties in one side are not jobetized or they are not jobetized in one way or the other remember it says that dealing with what you call an authorized or unlicensed recruitment agencies it gets at your own risk it gets at your own risk that is what the government of the uae says however it still says that the situations much as we may want to recruit those workers at a very small price but you may end up paying for a, a bigger price in the end of it all and as the government may not come in to step in to help you because it may not have enough of that to to help you out the government further said it is only it, it will definitely explain to you in three, uh, five instances to show you that if once you recruit a domestic worker who is not from a licensed recruitment agencies by the government what can happen what do you think expect and when something like that expects how where are you going to get the help from that's why it's urging the people to get all domestic workers from what you call the licensed recruitment agencies this is what the government had to say in the uae as giving the warning to the families and employers the ministry of human resource and immunization has warned employers and families against hiring domestic workers from unlicensed recruitment agencies including unreliable social media pages that promote services of this category the warning comes after the ministry issuing a decree that allows the private recruitment offices to offer domestic workers hire provided they obtain what you call a license from the, the ministry and meeting the conditions that are placed in for remember the ministry painted out five risks the employers and family may face when hiring domestic workers from unlicensed offices what are the risks that you may face if you hire someone from unlicensed recruitment agency or someone that you get to hire you picked out from the street and he's going to deal with your family he's going to deal with you he's going to deal with your food he's going to deal with all your requirements or your all your essential items that you live in your home this is what the government is doing is the same however remember that we only talk about the recruitment of the uh, recruitment of domestic workers in the uae it is centralized by the uae government 
meaning that every recruitment agency that does the work has to be given a license has to be licensed by what you call the uae government by the ministry of human resource and militarization in the uae the government pointed out these five risks that in case you get to recruit a domestic worker from the street what will happen to you what is going to happen to him or what is going to happen to her what's going to happen at one the employers can face what you call legal accountability for hiring absconding or violating workers it is also against the law to recruit a worker from a sponsorship or without what you call an official documentation that in case you get to recruit that domestic worker he comes to your place or he comes to your house to work for you you do something bad and that domestic worker goes to court to report you you the owner or you the family you will gain first what you call legal accountability because first of all you hired this person without an official document or without official documents that certify him or certify her to work for you as per the requirements of the government it also said that hiring family can contract what you call infectious diseases due to the absence of measures taken to ensure the workers medically fit remember for you to be given a job in or for you to to get a, a job as a domestic worker we talked about what you call medical uh, medical fitness and some of the diseases that are being checked for from uh, diseases are being choked as they're trying to 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 hire domestic workers are what you call sexually transmitted diseases we talked about syphilis we talked about gonorrhea and we talked about these other diseases so the government further warns that if you the government or the family if you the family or anyone you hire someone from nowhere who is not medically checked and that person brings in what you call infectious diseases to your home to your family to your family members what is going to happen you'll be accountable for it you'll be accounted for it that's why it's calling upon all people and by the way for anyone that willing to work as a domestic worker in the uae it is of your added advantage if you work under what you call a licensed recruitment agencies for some sort of the advantages which are more than the disadvantages remember you'll have a very bigger say in case you have a complaint against your employer you'll be worked on immediately even if you would want to shift away from your employer to a new employer because of mishandling or because of mistreatment the ministry will look at you very fast other than the person who has gone in someone who is picked in without even an official documentation in one way or the other still the government says that the employer's safety can be jeopardized as there are no guarantees that the domestic worker has no criminal record you know when you're domestic worker or all, all workers that come to these gulf countries it is you have to have what you call background check criminal background check so the government wants all those families and those post people if you are to get this person from nowhere you jeopardize what you call your safety in one way or the other you never know where this person is coming from you don't have the criminal record the proper criminal documentation records of this person so what hap what if something happens to your life like recently we had a situation what will happen to your life where are you going to report from this person will move on free so the government wants that whoever in the ua wants to recruit a domestic worker should follow the right protocol and the right procedure the government still says that absence of a valid contract and what we call professional services make the employing family unable to guarantee the worker who can live without a legitimate reason because this is a person that is picked from the street you is not trained at all he doesn't know what to do you putting your family in danger you putting your work in danger what about if this person gets to leave your home let's say for example you've gone to work and this person has to leave your home without your permission you have no way you will not go to court because you recruited this person from nowhere you recruited this person without following what you call the right procedure so the government is warning 
that for anything that happens beyond that, it is not responsible. It is of your own disadvantage. The government still says that the unofficial recruitment of domestic workers comes with the possibility of having untrained workers, licensed centers, remember? Unprofessional. When we talk about unprofessional workers, we mean those people that are not trained to do the work. So the government wants that. If you want to recruit someone away from the street who is not trained, then you will not have value of from this person. And in case of anything that happens, you will never have or you will not have to, 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 to get help in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if it's your first time, consider subscribing to this channel. Support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it's always very important for you to, up, to, up, to update or for you to update you wherever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we try to see more of this important information.